Welcome to this tutorial on how to create your own elbowspace.com web form. In this section we're going to focus on creating a web form from scratch. If you're not registered or not logged in, you can go to our homepage elbowspace.com and click on the Start Here tab. I am registered and I am logged in, so from the All My Forms page I can click on New Form. We want to focus on the form creator tool, so click on option number one. Okay, let's pretend that we work for a doctor's office and we have a need for an online medical questionnaire. So let's call this form medical questionnaire. Okay, let's go with uh, page style one and let's put in our home page web address. Let's call it doctors.com. Okay, click create new form. Okay, now we can get started. Let's start by adding a first name. A first name is a text field. So under the add items box, drag text name to the form area. Okay, so we want to label it first name. and our field size is the number of characters that are displayed in the text field. So let's go with 30. Max field size is the number of characters that are allowed to be entered. So let's go with 40 there. Okay, we also want to make this this first name required because we don't want our client to submit the form without entering a first name. So let's make this required and then click add line. Okay, there's our first name. Next, let, let's add a last name. Same thing, drag text field over to the form area, preferably under first name, and we'll label it last name. Oops. Last name. And let's go with uh, 40 for the field size and 60 for the max. There's some large last names out there. Also make this required and click Add Item. And there it is. Okay, I forgot a middle initial. So I can add either add another text field or I can repeat one of these and then make a change. So let's repeat first name. Uh, put the mouse over the label and then a, a, a box with options appears and then we want to click the repeat option okay now that it's been repeated we want to change the label so again put the mouse over the label and click edit this time and we'll go in and change the label to middle initial Also, we want to change the field size because an initial is only one character, so that's all we'll need. And we'll change the max to one. We don't want this one to be required because not everyone has a middle name. So we'll make it not required and click apply. And there it is. Okay, next thing I want to add is a marital status just to illustrate a selection box. So let's bring over a selection box from the Add Items box. And let's put it under last name. Label it Marital Status. And our options are Single, Married, Oops. Divorced and widowed. Now let's make this one required. Click Add Item, and there's our selection box. Here's all our options. Okay. Next, let's add gender. 
and let's make that a radio button. So under Add Items box, drag radio button. Let's let's put this above marital status before after last name, and we'll call it gender. And the options are male and female. Uh, let's make it required and let's align this horizontally to save space. Click Add Item and there it is. One more thing I want to add is a, a reason for your visit box uh, just so they can enter a little text and we want to make that a text area because it's going to be a little longer than a typical text field some of the text could get kind of wordy so we want to go with a text area so we'll drag over text area over underneath marital status and we'll call this reason for your visit and the number of rows will stay with five and a number of columns will stay with 30. This is going to be the dimensions of your box. And let's make this required. We want to know what the reason is. Click Add Item and there it is. Okay, let's save our changes and see what it looks like when we preview form. Okay, successful save. Now I'm going to click Preview Form. That's the actual live form of, of the items we just created. Okay, there it is. That's what it looks like. You got your marital status, first name, last name. Of course, there's a lot more to a medical questionnaire, so we'll, we could be here a while. Now, the other option is we do have a medical questionnaire form template. Let's see how easy that would be to add that and then make changes to it instead of starting from scratch. First thing we want to do to add a template is delete all of these lines. So let's delete everything we have here. We can do it two ways, but I'm, I'm just going to uh, click the delete button on each field right now. So I'm going to click delete on first name, delete on middle initial, delete on last name, delete 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 let's save changes okay now since you have no fields on this form the choose a form template button appears so let's click on it and we'll scroll down till we get to the medical dental section and there it is medical questionnaire click on it and this looks like what we need it's got all of the things we were adding plus a whole bunch more so let's customize this template okay there it is there's the medical question error now it's part of it's our form and we can make changes to it just like we did from scratch so let's say I want email first or, or let's say I want um, first name after email. We'll drag it over and there it goes. And then let's say we want last name after first name. Drag it over and there it is. Okay, that concludes this section. Uh, we'll be discussing making changes, deletions, additions, repeating, copying in, in the next few videos. Thanks for listening.